In the wild, mud isn't just messy, it can be deadly. Birds, insects, and even massive jungle animals often find themselves trapped in thick, sticky sludge, fighting for their lives. From delicate songbirds sinking in wetlands to mighty elephants struggling in muddy pits, nature's quicksand shows no mercy. But how do these creatures battle against the suffocating grip of mud? Some use brute strength, others rely on clever adaptations, and a few depend on teamwork to survive. For birds like herons and parrots, getting stuck in mud can mean certain doom if they can't break free quickly. Scorpions have two large claw-like pincers, pedipalps, and a long, curved tail with a venomous stinger. Scorpions are widely distributed across the globe, from Africa to the Americas, but they do not live in Antarctica. Scorpions often pinch rather than sting when threatened. Venom is energy expensive, so they use it sparingly. Leopards are incredibly adaptable. They live in forests, savannas, mountains, deserts, and even urban edges across Africa and parts of Asia. Leopards have a beautiful golden yellow coat with rosette-shaped spots that help with camouflage. Leopards are strong and muscular, especially in their shoulders and limbs. Ibis birds are known for their distinctive long, downward curved beak, perfect for probing in mud and shallow water for food. Ibis are highly social and live in large flocks. They often fly in a V formation during migration to conserve energy. Ibis birds typically nest in colonies, often building platform nests in trees or reeds near water. Dung battles often look like tiny wrestling matches, with beetles pushing, rolling, and flipping each other. Male dung beetles often battle over dung balls, which are used to attract mates or feed larvae. To a dung beetle, dung is a valuable resource, much like gold or land to humans. Many dung beetles have horns or strong forelegs used to push Frilled neck lizards are native to northern Australia and parts of southern New Guinea. This lizard is named for the large frill around its neck, which it can suddenly fan out when threatened. The frill is made of skin and cartilage, supported by long spines of cartilage that are normally folded back. Frilled neck lizards are excellent climbers. Rabbits are not rodents. They belong to their own group called lagomorphs, along with hares and pikas. Rabbits can jump up to 3 feet 1 meter high and 10 feet 3 meters long in a single leap. Rabbits produce a special type of poop called cecotropes, which they eat to absorb extra nutrients. It's normal and healthy. Peacocks are considered symbols of immortality, royalty, and spirituality in cultures around the world, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity. Peacocks have a very loud, high-pitched call, especially during the mating season or when alarmed. Peacocks have a long train of iridescent tail feathers, called a train, used for courtship displays.
Stag beetles can range in size from 2.5 to 12 centimeters, 1 to 4.7 inches, depending on the species. Males are generally larger than females. Stag beetles can fly, but they're slow and clumsy. Males are often seen flying at dusk looking for mates. Stag beetles belong to the Lucanidae family. Wolves are the ancestors of domestic dogs, Canis lupus familiaris, diverging around 15,000 to 40,000 years ago. Wolves form lifelong family bonds and care deeply for each other, sharing food and caring for the young and sick. Wolves howl to communicate across distances. It's used for coordination, territory marking, and bonding. Ants colony has different castes, queens, egg layers, workers, females that do tasks, and males, for mating. Ants build complex nests with tunnels and chambers that can regulate temperature and humidity. Ants are incredibly strong for their size. Ants live almost everywhere on Earth except Antarctica and a few remote islands. Pandas have a special pseudo-thumb, an enlarged wrist bone, to help them hold bamboo. Pandas are excellent climbers and can even swim. They communicate using scent marks, vocalizations, and body language. Pandas weigh between 70 to 160 kilograms, 155 to 350 pounds, and are about 1.2 to 1.9 meters. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure, including a queen bee, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees build honeycombs in hexagonal cells, which are incredibly efficient for storing honey and raising brood. Honeybees make honey by collecting nectar and storing it in honeycombs. Grasshoppers are insects, with six legs, two antenna, and three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Grasshoppers have strong back legs that allow them to leap 20 times their body length or more. Grasshoppers are often confused with crickets, but grasshoppers are usually active during the day. Snakes have no legs but can move quickly and quietly using their muscles and scales. Some snakes lay eggs, while others give birth to live young. Snakes flick their tongues to taste the air and pick up scent particles, which helps them find prey. Snakes don't have eyelids. Instead, their eyes are covered by a clear scale called a spectacle. Owls have fixed tubular eyes, they can't move them, but can rotate their heads up to 270 degrees. Owls have long legs hidden under feathers, what looks like their knees are actually ankles. Owls appear in mythology as symbols of wisdom, Greek Athena, or omens of death, Roman folklore. Some owls, like the burrowing owl, mimic rattlesnake hisses to scare off predators.
Black swans are strong flyers and can travel hundreds of kilometers between water sources, especially during drought. Black swans usually form lifelong pair bonds and are highly devoted partners and parents. Black swans have been introduced to New Zealand, Europe and parts of Asia for ornamental and park use. Butterflies taste with their feet. Their taste sensors are located on their feet, allowing them to detect the right plants for laying eggs. Butterflies transform from caterpillars into adults through a process called metamorphosis. Butterflies have a straw-like tongue. Reindeer can change eye color from gold in summer to blue in winter to adapt to changing light levels. Reindeer are the only deer species in which both sexes grow antlers, though females are smaller. Reindeer make one of the longest land migrations of any mammal, up to 3,000 miles 4, kilometers, annually. Tigers mostly live and hunt alone, marking large territories to keep others away. Unlike most cats, tigers love water and are strong swimmers. A tiger's roar can be heard up to two miles, three kilometers away. Their stripes help them blend into the forest shadows. Tigers are endangered due to habitat loss and poaching, with fewer than 4,000 left in the wild. Zebras are about 4 to 5 feet tall at the shoulder and can weigh between 400 to 850 pounds, 180 to 385 kilograms. Zebras live in groups called herds or harems, often led by a dominant male stallion. Eagles are known for their incredible flying skills and can soar at altitudes over 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters. Eagles have exceptional eyesight, about four to eight times sharper than humans, allowing them to spot prey from miles away. Eagles build enormous nests called Aries, or Aries. Rhinos mark their territory with dung and urine, often piling up dung in the same spot to form dung middens. Rhinos have excellent hearing and sense of smell, but poor eyesight. They often rely on scent and sound more than sight. Rhinos are heavily poached for their horns, driven by illegal trade, especially for use in traditional medicine, despite no proven benefits. Rhinos mark their territory with dung and urine, often piling up dung in the same spot to form dung middens. Insects, such as beetles and ants, face a different challenge. Their tiny limbs can easily get lodged in thick mud, leaving them vulnerable to predators. Meanwhile, larger animals like crocodiles and wild boars use powerful muscles to thrash their way out. But even they can fall victim to deep, unforgiving bogs. <laughs> 